All right, guys, here we go. Um, part two, uh, getting into Maya. All right, as you know, it's Mr. Bell in here, I'm helping you guys out. Uh, these are recorded for my grade nine and my grade 10 students. Here we go. Uh, we're in Maya right now, so we went through the process of saving, and there's my Maya saving files. That was um, the document name. All right, good enough. What do we do now? All right, I'm just going to go through the user interface from now on. I'll call it UI for you guys, okay? So we're in Maya, and you see these lovely icons, bunch of tabs, and depending how you start yours, you'll probably see this. But the key is for us, we start modeling first, and then we go into animating or rigging, and then animating, and so on. And you all know we research our ideas first and sketch them out, but let's say we're in the software, we made it to the stage, and what do we do? First and foremost, let me just go through quickly through the user interface, okay? Now you'll see here a bunch of drop-downs here. So again, if we're creating things, we're modeling, okay? So we're modeling using polygons or NURB surfaces. I won't tell you what that is right now, but we'll stick to polygons for now. Okay, there it is, polygons, and we'll go in there. Later on, when we want to rig things, we can go into animation, we want to animate, we'll go into animate and so on. And then sometimes rendering out, we'll go into rendering, okay? This is not about learning the whole interface. That would take years. And everybody in, um, you know, people working in industry use a certain aspect of it, not necessarily all of it. So for us, polygons for modeling, okay? Next thing is you create something. You can look at the icons here, for example, click once, boom, and here's something, all right? So one of the things, just like 3ds Max, W, E, and R, okay? W to move, E to rotate, R to scale. All right, in this software, scale is a good thing. In 3ds Max, I don't recommend it. Okay, pardon me for a sec. <coughs> right. So what I'm doing here, zooming in, zooming out. Okay, that's kind of cool. Um, Q is just basically up here. I'm going to kind of relate these icons to you in terms of um, graphically. Okay, if I press W, for example, watch this. Uh, I have to select the uh, item first. If I press W, it correlates to this I, um, icon here, the Move tool. I press E, notice that this lights up, and R, so on, and Q is just a selection tool. So if you want to select something, you can be in Q, and boom, you have selected something, basically. If you want to move, uh, it's essentially W, I call that moving the end. You need the engine to move. So W, basically, on the x-axis, or a Y, and uh, that's why up here, the other, okay, and Z over there. So that's what I call the tripod, right? So if I just Z out, boom, 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 back to uh, the origin, okay, where I created it. Okay, a couple cool things here. So we've created a cylinder. What is, what do we do with it? We can move it, clearly, or Z it back out. We can zoom in, zoom out. We can uh, look at it in a certain perspective. For example, we can orbit around our view. You hold Alt, middle scroll button to pan. If I hold Alt and left click, now I'm orbiting. How cool is that? And sometimes um, I use these soaps. I have to remember I'm not in 3ds Max, so I gotta just uh, get in the zone here. So again, holding Option down or Alt uh, for PC people, Option for Max, the same thing. And left clicking, you are orbiting around. Kind of cool, right? You also have to hold op Option down, middle scroll button to pan. That's kind of nice. So you go on left, right, up, down, that kind of thing, right? Again, really cool. If I want to zoom out, zoom out or zoom in middle scroll button okay easy enough all right couple things I'm just gonna continue here uh, let's say you created a uh, torus I clicked out here automatically goes in the center right that's kind of nice press W notice where it is right now it's somewhere over here and the origin is really down here how do I get it there which is really fun you got to get this down okay so important to start your work at the origin and have a control of where things are once you start moving things around you're gonna have it all over the place you want to give this file to somebody else, it's always good to start off at the XY being uh, zero. So notice here, translate X, kind of cool. Uh, if I press zero, watch where it goes, right there. If I move translate Z to TZ to zero, that's awesome. Look at that. The donut shape, also called torus, is in the right place. Okay? Now, I'm going to keep it simple here. Um, I'm going to delete that. Say bye bye. You know, sometimes in our grade 9 rotation, we teach you to make uh, pieces for a chess set. We'll rig them and animate them and so on. So watch this. I've selected this um, cylinder. All I know right now is the translation, the rotation, and scale and visibility. Okay, so that's interesting. But how do you know the size of this? You don't at this point other than visually looking at this. So watch here. If I click on poly cylinder, oh, radius is 1. If I change the height to 3, watch, boom, right there, change, right? That's kind of cool. And subdivision heights, let's say we put it at five. And then subdivision cap, 
Right now, if I hold Option and left click up here, there are no cuts in here, so subdivision. So let's say I change that to three. Look how nice that is. Okay, and we'll be modeling this in the next uh, video. So watch now. Uh, radius one, height three. So if I want this to be on the ground plane, mathematically we think if I move this right now, let me just zero all these out. Done. If I move my Y to 1.5, watch where it goes, right on the ground plane. How cool is that? Okay. All right, so that kind of should be enough to start us. Why don't I just add a, a, a plane here? Okay, there's no Z on this, just X and Y. And again, I'm going to click on the translate, diagonally go all the way here, type in zero, boom. And then go to polyplane down here, and you pick your uh, dimensions, right? Okay, uh, let's just keep it, let's say 30 by 30 for now. 30, tab, 30, boom, done. And the beauty of it is X and Y are right here, and Z, okay, all in the center. So that could be our future chess set. All right, I think that should be good to start for you guys. Again, Q to select something, right? W to move, and then E to rotate, R to scale. I think this is enough for you guys to start with. And again, I always stay in W or Q so you can actually have the selection, but W for me is a lot more fun because I can move things around. And I'm sorry this is going fast. I'll slow it down for the next one. Okay, guys, uh, good review for you. Take care. Bye, you know.